everyone, I'm Laura from Cherubs Chalks Interiors. I'm a content creator for Dixie Bell Paint and today I'm going to show you how I use their products to transform this gorgeous blanket box into something even more special. So to begin with, I remove all of that lovely cast iron hardware. I will give that all a real deep clean whilst it's off and then I will reattach at the end. As you can probably see, there are many thick layers of wax on this piece, so to remove that all, I'm going to use white spirit and some wire wool. So I've just soaked my wire wool in some white spirit, and now I'm rubbing away at the wax to try and break it down. Once I've got rid of most of the wax, I'm then going to come back with my sander and remove any more of the residue and then scuff sand just to give a good key for the paint to adhere to. Now I'm going to clean all over with some white lightning and then I will rinse that all off with some plain water. Next up, I'm going to use some clear boss. I'm going to apply two coats of this all over to prevent any stains or bleed through from the wood. Now I will leave the boss to dry overnight and then come back in the morning with some sandbar and apply two coats of this all over. I love sandbar, you can see here how amazing the coverage is with just one coat. Okay so again I've left this to dry overnight and now I'm going to apply the Distress Damask decoupage paper. I'm using satin clear coat to apply a base, then I put on the decoupage paper and then put another coat over the top. I'm sort of sandwiching the decoupage paper and then I'll leave that to dry again. The style that I'm looking to achieve here is a really worn, aged, distressed look. So I'm just using my sanding block and sanding off a lot of the edges to give a really authentic vintage look. I'm also going to give a light sanding all over the decoupage paper. This is just going to distress it a little bit more and also give it a smoother feel. So I'm going to begin the next stage by applying a coat of clear Bestang wax to the whole piece. I will then wipe off the excess with a rag and then I'm going to come back with some brown wax and apply that around the edges. So when I've got that where I want it, I'm going to come back with some blue roll and I'm going to feather the edges and wipe away any of the excess. Now it's time to reattach all of the hardware that I cleaned earlier on. It's all finished. I love everything about this look. The colour, the shading with the waxes, the decoupage paper, it's just perfect. Even if I do say so myself. What do you guys think? I hope that you like it as much as I do. Thank you as always for joining us on our latest project. You can find us over on all of the social media sites at Cherubs Chalks Interiors. And don't forget to follow Dixie Bell Paint's YouTube channel for more tutorials from me and all of the other wonderful content creators and brand ambassadors. See you next time, folks.